session is uh, on identity conceal authenticated encryption and key exchange uh, by uh, Yunlei Zhao from uh, Fudan University. And uh, Yunlei is going to give the talk. Okay. Thank you for the introduction. Um, okay. <coughs> I'm Yunlei Zhao from Fudan University, Shanghai, China. I'm going to talk about uh, identity concealed or scientific or encryption and the key change. I first present the introduction and the motivation. Uh, identity concealment and the zero round uh, uh, trade time, zero RTT connection um, are two current, uh, two, two current research focuses in the design and the analysis of cryptographic uh, systems, uh, in particular uh, for secure transport protocols in the client server setting, uh, including TLS 1.3 and uh, Quick and Google's Quick. By identity concealment, we mean that the transcript of the protocol run should not leak participants' identity information, uh, which is deemed as an important privacy concern and uh, uh, mandated by uh, some important standards, uh, including TLS 1.3, Quick, uh, EMV, and so on. Uh, by forward ID privacy, we mean that uh, a user should preserve its privacy even if his static private key is exposed. By zero RTT option, we mean that uh, the client can optionally transmit uh, encrypted uh, message already in the first flow of, of, the, of the session run. If it can, it can retrieve or, or cache the, uh, the public key of the server in previously in uh, in past the uh, com communi communication. Zero RTT can significantly reduce the connection latency, which is a, a critical issue in most of the HTTP uh, content um, acquisitions. And uh, zero RTT is also supported by Google's Quick and also was discussed by TLS 1.3 working group. Uh, with the OPTS since the, it's the sixth uh, uh, version of the draft. <coughs> uh, Quick is developed by Google and uh, has, has already been implemented in Chrome since uh, 2013. Uh, it stands as one of the most promising solutions to uh, decreasing latency while intending to provide a security properties similar to TLS. Currently, uh, at least uh, about 75% uh, of all quick connections uh, use the zero RTT model. However, uh, quick now only supports zero RTT model without the client authentic authentication. According to a measurement of quick, quick team, uh, in order for quick to be ubiquitous, a suitable mechanism for identity concealed zero RTT client authentic authentication is needed. Here, uh, we, we see the, the mechanism of, me mechanism of uh, zero RTT entity authentication and also uh, identity concealment as identity, con identity concealed authentic encryption. There is a naive approach for IACE. That is, we encrypt the client's, client's zero RTT data and uh, sign the data and uh, finally, using server the public key to encrypt the zero RT data, the client signature, and the, and the client's uh, public, public key certificate. So this, this, this is a naive approach. However, this, this naive approach has some drawbacks. Firstly, they is not uh, very eff efficient. And uh, secondly, the design and the analysis can be very subtle. Uh, for example, if I know the client's signature on, on the data, I can re-encrypt the, the data and the signature with the server, the server's public key, uh, then resulting uh, to a situa situation that uh, two sessions 
are not matched, but, but have the same peer views. Uh, tailored, uh, as witnessed by the ongoing CASA competition on, on authentic encryption, we think that the tailored protocol can run the much more advantageous features beyond the, the gain of efficiency. Also, we viewing ACE as a separate primitive can conceptually simplify the design and the analysis of complex protocols. Finally, we think that the standard, the standard signatures leave to the receiver an undeniable proof of, of participants, which is not very desirable. We, I would like to review some basic schemes starting from David Herman. Since the, the invention of David Herman, shortly after the, uh, the, the, the introduction of David Herman, comes the Algama encryption, which is CPA secure. And then the composition of Algama encryption under, under a Mac gives us DHIS, which, has, which enjoys the CCA security. And uh, compos composing Algama under DSA gives us zone encryption, which uh, into the both CCA security and the entity authentication. Here, cyclebusing is the authentic encryption in the public setting. Here is Zheng cyclebusing, which is also standard in SO29150. Uh, you can see from this protocol that uh, it does not consider identity privacy, as the, the standard's identity has to be sent in clear. Otherwise, the receiver, the receiver cannot uh, decrypt or can, can verify the, the signature. And also, since it composes DSA signature and, uh, and algorithm encryption, the signature leaves under number proof. So, by receiver deniability, we mean that uh, the transcript can be simulated by the receiver. And also, no X security. By X, by X security means that uh, this is, uh, uh, if the, the exposure of small X will result in the exposure of user's static private key. The likeness the of execution of Zheng sacrificing is inherited from DSA signature. Now we can one pass HMKV, home, home KV. The, the situation is improved with home KV. It enjoys receiver deniability and enjoys X security. But still, home KV does not consider added privacy. And it was showing that one pass or something that key change can be transformed into a synchronous scheme and vice versa. So about 40 years have, have been passed since the introduction of David Herman. The, to our knowledge, the literature still lacks a cryptographic mechanism that could solidly and practically integrated the following into a monolithic primitive simultaneously. Public encryption and uh, entity authentication, digital signature, and also identity concealment. <laughs> so our first motivating question is, can we come up with a, a cryptographic mechanism that, is, uh, that enjoys the following simultaneously forward ID privacy, uh, relatively as efficient as a home QV? Enjoy receiver deniability and also access security. <coughs> Based on, we, also, we are also concerned with identity concealed authentic key chains, referred to CKE for short. We note that up to now, the most efficient AKE protocols are HMQV and their variants. However, to our knowledge, no one of HMQV and their variants consider, considered ad ID concealment. In the current server setting, quick and OPTS stand for the most efficient secure channel establishment protocols. Both of them support identity privacy. 
And the OPTS also incorporated in the TLC 1.3 draft. Here is the Google the Quick uh, protocol, a very basic structure, the core structure. You can see from the protocol that uh, it, uh, although it considers identity concealment, but it does not enjoy forward ID privacy, means that if the sender's static private key, small b, is exposed, then one can reveal the identity of, of, the, of, the, of the sender. Also, it does not enjoy X security, means that the X, because both K1 and K2 can be computed from the, the value of small x. Now, OPTS. OPTS compared to the quick, OPTS enjoys forward ID privacy, but it still does not enjoy X security because all the key values can be computed merely from the small x. So our mo second motivating question is, can we come up with a new EK scheme which can satisfy the following simultaneously? Forward ID privacy, even more efficient than quick and OPTRS, and uh, enjoy X security, receive deniability, and, uh, and be free of signatures. For identity concealed EKE, unfortunately, we no notice that uh, the existing frameworks for AKE or secure channel establishment are not well suitable for CAKE. For example, in the CK framework, the session matching relies, session matching, which is at the heart of secure definition, relies on players' identities ideas being exchanged in clear. Otherwise, the composability will be lost. Uh, for BR framework, it uses an entire session transcript to define session matching, which from our, our view is over strict and limits its applicability. We know that the identity privacy for secure transport, secure transport protocols was also formulated in some existing works, but treated separately from security. So, a concise framework unifying ID privacy and security and also unifying CK and BR is desirable. We also notice uh, the multi stage key, key change model recently introduced and has been proved powerful in analyzing uh, some secure transport protocols like uh, Quick and TLS 1.3. But we notice that it is not well applicable to uh, CK either. For example, ID privacy was not considered uh, with the MSKE model. And also, the MSK, MSK model needs to divide the, the actual single session run into several stages. For example, the partial session run upon green uh, intermediate, uh, intermediate key, KID used to increment the user identities IDs should be uh, treated as one separate stage, and the uh, ID should, should be exposed immediately to the adversary. And uh, it is assumed that once the stage is finished, the session run needs to be suspended and uh, return the control to adversary. I think we think this may not be very natural, because some messages sent in the same flow may belong to different stages then how to divide and how to suspend and, and give return control to adversary. And also we said that it may not be very reasonable that uh, to assume that uh, intermediate security KID has to be has to be exposed but uh, the long term offline computable this exponent small x should must not must not. It is not desirable to have a framework for CKE which enjoys the following properties. First, the unification, unify privacy and security, unify BK and uh, CK and, 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 and BR model. And uh, also robustness and uh, versatility. It should allow the powerful current minor middle adversary with, 
with the adaptive party registration and the strong capability of security exposure and uh, should uh, imply a list of important security property in reality, like uh, perfect, perfect forward security, I know it can say uh, key, uh, key com compromise my input need, and so on. So our third of motivating question is, can we come up with a new definition of framework for identity concealed AKE, which enjoys simultaneously the following? Uh, public key, public uh, checkability, of safety matching, and uh, thus reserving composability, and uh, consciousness that is treats security and pri privacy altogether, and uh, unification, unify CK and BR, and uh, it is robust and uh, versatile. So, um, we summarize our contributions. We address the first motivating question by proposing a new primitive, named the hiding identity cybersyn, uh, hybridsyn for short. Hybridsyn integrates public encryption, digital signature, and identity concealment into a monolithic primitive in a solid and practical way. We present the security definition of framework for hybridsyn and a conceptually simple yet carefully designed construction of high person. Uh, we show that the high carbon scheme allows very flexible implementations uh, and the trade of offs among security, privacy, and everything according to the, the priorities in, in, in different uh, application scenarios. And also we show that the high carbon is a well suitable tool and, uh, and compatible with quick and OPTRs. Uh, we saw that uh, a direct application of high is the one pass identity concealed AKE protocol, which can in turn be applied to key wrapping. And uh, it can then be transform transformed into a two round server only authenticated unilateral CKE, UCKE uh, for short. And, uh, its parallel composition gives us a three-round mutual uh, AKE protocol with mutual ID, ID privacy. This addresses the second motivating question. We also give a concise secret definition of framework for CKE and use CKE, which unifies the BR and the CK frameworks and enjoys composability and uses strong security guarantees. And addressing the third uh, motivating question. By a product, um, as a, um, by product, uh, product contribution, um, the, okay, the security of all the protocols de developed in this work is proven secure uh, and a standard assumption in the random worker model. But to support a more efficient and flexible deployments of protocols, while still preserving their proper security, we also introduce a new family of problems and assumptions uh, related to a variant of the discrete logarithm problem, uh, referred to as FDL. We saw its hardness in the generic group model and uh, maybe of independent interest, particularly to leakage resilient cryptography. So we br briefly discussed this design of high computing and, uh, and, uh, and its applications. We start from one pass, it's OAKE from CCS 2013. The, under, the underlying authentication mechanism of OAKE is a, is a scheme, is a mechanism named uh, nine malleable joint proof of knowledge, AMJPOK. AMJPOK works as follows that is, a prover has a static public key. Big A equals G to the, to the power small a. And uh, also has a uh, ephemeral this component, big X equals G to, the, to small x. Small x, small x is the this exponent. Then, giving a random challenge, big Y, the prover wants to prove its knowledge of both 
the static private key A and the ephemeral small value, small x, jointly and non malleable. For this goal, the proof of science is identity and the big X and also non malleable joint proof of knowledge defined to be big Y to the power of A plus X times D, where D is the hash of big X and the proof of identity and the random challenge. But note that for AM, JPUK, and OEKE, the proof has to stand, has to stand its identity and public key in clear. So the high question is actually the dual of one, one part of OEKE. It's built up on a mechanism referred to as concealed non malleable joint proof knowledge. That is actually the dual of AM, JPUK. In saying JPUK, given the random challenge big Y, the proof sends bar big X equals big A times big X to the power of D. And C is the subtest of the authentic incubation of, P, of, of proof of identity and, and its actual D component big X with the key derived from big X and uh, bar, bar big X and Y. Note, but big X does not reveal proof of identity because his public key, big A, is covered with big X power to the power of D. And C also does not reveal identity. Very simple, very simple. This actually direct, directly leads to a two-round unilateral identity concealed authentication. Authentic key chain protocol. Roughly speaking, our high crypt scheme is built up on CNJPUK by replacing the random challenge Y with received public identity information. Here is a brief structure. After receiving, receiving it denotes the, the, associated, the associated data of, of AE. After receiving by X and C, the receiver uh, the first the computer K1, the, the PS with his static private key, small b, and then decrypt the, the subtitles to get Sanders' identity and its actual D is computing the X, and then compute the D, and then finally check whether by X equals big X times X to the power of D. If yes, then accept. High capacity can also be built up on HMQV, one part of HMQV. We start with one part of OEKE because it can allow more flexible implementation with trade offs among security, privacy, and everything, uh, which is enabled by flexible DL. Uh, roughly speaking, FDL is, 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 is a problem that uh, given bar X equals big X to the power of, of, of its X find the small x, the, the, the exponent, where big x equal to g to the power of small x. Where x is not necessarily taken from ZQ, but taken in a well-spread subset of ZQ with sufficient main entropy. For example, suppose the length of Q is 512 x, the length of x may be only 128, a quarter of that of Q. Note that giving by X is seemingly hard for us to even, even, even to, to compute the big X rather than small X. So FDL is a, is a new problem balance the, the, the efficiency and the hardness. With FDL, we de define variance of high person. If the length of X is about, is about a quarter of that of Q, we refer to it as light high person. If half of that of Q, we refer to it as medium high person. 
and if x is taken from the queue, we refer to as a full high question. Here is a brief, brief comparison. For standard efficiency, light high question is even better than home QV. And uh, for receiver efficiency, both high question and the home QV are better than side question. And uh, high question itself is forward ID privacy, small access security, receiver deniability simultaneously. Home QV does not uh, consider ID privacy, while side question enjoy no one with them. Uh, okay. Here is a uh, quick with high correction based uh, uh, zero RTT connection. Um, to be against the replay attack, Quick uses a, a mechanism uh, named the strike register, and we set in D this way to, to, to provide a uh, robust binding. And, uh, and uh, this is a unilateral identity can see all the uh, key changes being a high person. That's very simple. So, so it's, it's uh, the uh, um, for the security definition and the analysis, please refer to the paper. Okay. So are there any questions? So I have one, one small question. So, um, so it's about your flexible discrete logarithm problems. Flexible, yeah, the this, flexible okay, discrete yeah. logarithm problems. Can they be used also to implement the other uh, protocols like HOMQV uh, and then they may benefit of similar improvements in efficiency? Um. <coughs> there is something in the proof that like uh, prevents them to be used there. Okay. Um, FDL is uh, better uh, applied uh, to to high privacy uh, to because uh, uh, high privacy has a different structure for for home QV. For 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 home QV, bar x equals uh, bar big X equals big A to the power of D times big X. So because uh, the hardness of, uh, of FDL is related to big X to the power of its big X. So it's not well applicable to 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 to, to home um, HMQV, yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay, there are no more questions. Let's thank the speaker again.